Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the books Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. We are continuing with the neuroimaging concepts. So now we shall kick start with stroke. Neuroimaging concepts part 21 ischemic stroke introduction. The common mode of expression of stroke is a relatively sudden occurrence of a focal neurologic deficit. Both of these features, acute onset and signs of damage in a limited region of the brain separate stroke from most forms of neurologic disease. Strokes are broadly categorized as ischemic or hemorrhagic. Ischemic stroke. Ischemic stroke, the most common type is due to occlusion of a cerebral blood vessel and causes cerebral infarction. These are categorized on the basis of the cause of vascular occlusion. The main ones being cerebral embolism, atherosclerosis and occlusion of small vessels within the substance of the brain. The next category is the hemorrhagic stroke. The second broad category is hemorrhage which occurs either within the substance of the brain called intracerebral hemorrhage or blood contained within the subarachnoid space called subarachnoid hemorrhage. The causes of hemorrhagic stroke generally, cause, generally called cerebral hemorrhage or intracerebral hemorrhage are numerous and include chronic hypertension, coagulopathies that arise endogenously or because of anticoagulant medications, vascular malformations of the brain and hemorrhage that occurs within the area of an ischemic stroke. Of all these conditions, hypertension is the most important modifiable risk factor for stroke. Subarachnoid hemorrhage, a subtype that has distinctly different characteristics from other hemorrhagic stroke is subarachnoid hemorrhage which has fewer causes, the most common being the rupture of a developmental aneurysm arising from the vessels of the circle of villus but also includes arteriovenous malformation and other less common causes. <coughs> so here you can see the main types of stroke. On the left side we see the ischemic stroke. So ischemic stroke which is 80 to 85 percent you can see that. It's a hypodense lesion. It is dark in color. The other common type of stroke, the other category is hemorrhagic stroke, which is 15 to 20 percent. Here it is hyperdense or white in color. So these are the two main types of stroke. One is the ischemic stroke, 80 to 85 percent, which is dark in color or hypodense lesion. The second category is the hemorrhagic stroke, which is 15 to 25 percent. It is hyperdense that is white in color. So these are the important causes of the stroke and the important broad categories of stroke. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this. I have written a book exam oriented clinical neurology by so Dr. Uh, Srinivas. It contains all the essential clinical neurology material which will be very useful for students appearing for the clinical neurology exam. Uh, if interested, this book could be purchased. The other book I have written is Focused Neurology, which contains all the theoretical aspects of neurology in a question answer format. This book is available online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. So if interested, this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of neurology. If you have enjoyed, please like and share the link. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my webpage, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.